right, good evening from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I was thinking of my favorite Vincent Price role, because when we think of Vincent Price, we think of horror, right? We think of um, the Fembots. You know, um, we might even think of him reciting, I don't know, what was that, poetry? <laughs> Um, in uh, Thriller. You know, you might think of those things. Um, <coughs> you know, when I think of Vincent Price, um, and my favorite role of Vincent Price is actually as the saint. You know, uh, Simon Templer, um, the Leslie Charteris um, character. Uh, now, if you ever read the books in regards to Leslie Char Charteris, um, the saint was kind of an ends justified the means kind of guy um, who would do whatever he needed to do to get the job done. I mean, they also tended to have him more on an international scale than necessarily what um, to do with um, Vincent Price. Matter of fact, actually. Um, the saint um, is, is British. It was a British character originally, right? Um, and of course, um, Vincent Price, uh, the saint, is more localized, um, almost kind of like a detective that, you know, somebody is in trouble, they knock on the door and they get to, you know, and they, um, the saint helps them out, um, typically free of charge. And, um, yeah, it's a little different and much localized. They tend to have him based in New York. I think maybe I saw one in San Francisco. But they tend to have him based in America. And there may have been a slight nod, though, you know, um, because um, Vincent Price had something that someone may actually pretty much equate to a, a mid-Atlantic accent. Um, or I've also heard it called a transatlantic accent, but typically I've heard mid-Atlantic. So that is to say someone who has an accent that is, you know, you want to say British, but not quite, but, you know, but it's not quite American either, you know, somewhere in between. Um, now, typically these mid-Atlantic accents were basically adopted, you know, they were um, you know, created and learned, you know, by a number of Americans. But there were people who, um, you know, who did have accents that you just couldn't quite tell. Cary Grant, for example, was one person that was brought up. Now, in my opinion, Cary Grant had a British accent. It's just that the man lived in America for a while. So for me, that was a British accent. There was no... <laughs> but for many people, you know, there was like, well, it's not quite British and it's not quite American. Um, William Conrad had one of those. Catherine Hepburn. Well, Vincent Price also had something that people may consider to be um, a mid-Atlantic accent. And that might have, you know, landed him um, the role in The Saint. Um, after Vincent Price leaves, if you will, The Saint, it is taken over um, by, if you will, Tom Conway, who also... Um, was in um, some of the Sherlock Holmes radio. And I'm really talking about radio adventures here, um, but in, in the Sherlock Holmes radio adventures. And I believe there was a guest role um, in one of them because Vincent Price was held up overseas and he couldn't quite make it. And so I think they had a British person playing that role still. But at any rate, um, you know, I love the humor that he brought to it. The chemistry that he could bring with just about any, um, you know, um, radio actor. Um, mm. The bad guys I loved. Um, the bad guys were awesome. Some of the bad guys seemed to... You, you, you know, you can almost see um, whoever wrote these characters out um, paying attention to Damon Runyon. Um, and some of the Damon, um, Damon, uh, Damon Runyon um, characters, like, you know, Broadway and those guys, seem to be very similar to them. Many of them um, did. Um, 
You know, I love that version of the saint. Now, now there's also another version of this saint. Um, well, there's, there's been several of them. Um, it seemed like the more the original British roles, uh, you know, of that original saint, that tended to bore me to tears. I'm not sure why that was. But, um, but you know, when they tended to put him in more in a localized setting. Um, so you may be more familiar with the 1960s series, The Saint um, starring Roger Moore, who might be a little bit more famous for what? Um, James Bond. Um, but when he was younger, he did uh, The Saint. But Vincent Price was always my favorite one. It was very difficult, especially in the radio series, to listen to anyone else. I mean, they were good. They just weren't Vincent Price. They just didn't have the same kind of swagger that Vincent Price had, in my opinion. The same kind of finesse, um, if you will, as, as Vincent Price had. And like I said, I just loved him so much more in there than, you know, the horror movie stuff. I, I could have. I mean, it, it's cool. It's, it's just that, I, you know, I just thought there was more versatility to Vincent Price that many people um, would give him credit for. And I believe um, that the saint really lent, if you will, to that level of versatility. Um, if you haven't seen it, I mean, my goodness, it's, a, you know, it's probably a pretty well-known um, radio series. Um, you know, him the ca chemistry that he had with Louis the cab driver. Um, you know, the happy-go-lucky, um, if you forgive my language, kind of playboy essence um, of Vincent Price in, um, if you will, um, The Saint. Wonderful, wonderful series. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it. Um, anyway, um, it is evening here in Raleigh, and I'm standing, sitting right next to a gigantic clock. So let me see here. Um... We're winding down things here, and um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night, what, you know, if you're watching this, if you're watching this at all. Anyway, um, take care, and bye-bye.